Crown Resorts will keep its licence to run Victoria's only casino following a lengthy probation period and review by the state's Gambling and Casino Commission. Reporter Daniel Ziffer joins me now from Melbourne. Hi there, Daniel. Can you take through what we know, how this decision was arrived at? So the Commission has basically made its decision. And what happened after the Royal Commission in Victoria, this is into the Crown Melbourne, was that they were given a special monitor, essentially a corruption buster inside the building. He's been there for nearly two years and he's given them four reports. Um, what he's done is attend staff meetings, make directions about things and essentially watch from inside Crown as they attempt to become suitable to hold the licence. He's given all of his reports to the regulator and they have made their final decision, which is that Crown Melbourne is suitable to retain the monopoly licence that it holds in the nation's largest city to run one of the biggest casinos in the world. Uh, let's hear from Victorian Regulator Chair Fran Thorne. The findings of the special manager that Crown Melbourne has addressed the systemic failings identified by the Royal Commission. Secondly, our own work with Crown Melbourne substantiated the, substantiating that the various suitability requirements have been met. As the special manager has reported during our investigations, we have observed a very different Crown emerging with a clear understanding of the privilege and obligations of holding the licence. Finally, Crown's recognition that to meet its own aspirations, to be more than suitable, to be excellent, it needed a comprehensive transformation plan, referred to by the Special Manager, to continue its reform efforts and against which it will be held accountable. That's Fran Thorne there, the Victorian regulator, saying that Crown has done the work to transform its business and to be suitable to hold the licence. It does hold the licence, uh, and as I said, it is one of the largest single-site employers in the nation uh, and continues to essentially print money every day. Yeah, that uh, the Commission spent a lot of time uh, arriving at the decision. Fran Thorne outlined that this morning in the media conference. But Dan, was Crown ever realistically going to ever lose that licence? Uh, as any Victorian observer will tell you, it's very unlikely. The Crown is sometimes called the Vatican down here because it's a world unto itself. Uh, Ms Thorne said she did have sleepless nights about the decision and that importantly, uh, they worked on what was called a plan B, that Crown and the regulator worked out what would happen if they did lose the licence so that it was actually an option. Previously, there's been a description of Crown as being too big to fail, uh, something I've never really understood given that there are lots of large casino operators around the world, any of whom could tender to have the licence and run the casino. Uh, certainly things wouldn't change, gamblers wouldn't notice any difference and neither would the staff at a lower level. Uh, but it's always been a suggestion that Crown is too big to fail. She says this work on Plan B gave it the option that if the licence was ripped up that there would be a suitable provider, a process to go forward. But that didn't happen. I don't think any observer really thought it ever was going to. Uh, she praised the work of the previous regulator, one that was so comprehensively lied to and misled by Crown that all of the wrongdoing was uncovered by the media. Uh, and that's the situation we find ourselves in. Crown remains suitable and they'll hold that licence uh, into the future.